वेलकम वेलकम टू सेशन ऑन टाइप कन्वर्शन टाइप कन्वर्शन टाइप कन्वर्शन मीन कन्वर्टिंग फ्रम वन फॉम टू वन टाइप टू अनदर टाइप वाट आर द टाइप टाइप आर नथिंग बट दि डेटा टाइप सो कन्वर्टिंग फ्रम वन डेटा टाइप टू अनदर डेटा टाइप इन दिस सेशन वील डिस्कस वट एक्साक्टली इज द टाइप कन्वर्शन वट इज इंप्लीस टाइप कन्वर्शन वट इज एक्सप्लीस टाइप कन्वर्शन वेन डू यू डू इट वेन डू यू डू इट and how to do it so when operators are applied in the operands the operand should be of the same type but what happens if the operators are of operands are of different types say 3 plus 5 so the op operands 3 and 5 are integers okay 3 plus 4.5 so now one is integer one is floating point real value what to do what to do okay whether to convert 4.5 to 4 or 5 and then add it to 3 or 3 plus 4.5 7.5 whether the result is 7.5 or not so the compiler the the programs which convert this which execute this one which execute your c program will get confused will get confused so usually sometimes you may get some unpredictable results also when the operands are of different types you may get unpredictable results so if the operands are of different types then it is called as mixed mode arithmetic mixed mode arithmetic so what to do when the operands are of different types there are two solutions for it, for it implicit type conversion explicit type conversion implicit type conversion otherwise called as type conversion what happened generally in the case of implicit type conversion is the system itself converts automatically that means the language implementers have written some code which automatically converts you use programmer need not bother about it but the result will be as per the designer of the compiler as per the designer of the, of the compiler okay as per the designer of the compiler will get the result so the result will not be in your hand so whenever the system con converts it is called as implicit type conversion whenever you are converting as a programmer you can take a choice how to take a choice we'll see then it is called as explicit type conversion but in all the cases what is generally done is or the general rule that is followed is what is called as widening rule widening rule widening rule so widening rule means Uh, lower data type is converted to higher data type suppose integer occupies 2 bytes and floating occupies 4 bytes then what is done is integer is converted to float integer is converted to float integer is converted to float not float to integer because it results in truncation of value if convert from float to integer it results in truncation so the general rule that is followed is or blindly can the rule that you can remember is widening rule lower data type is converted to higher data type so in the case of implicit type conversion generally integer is converted to float float uh, is converted to long double or double long double or double so because uh, float uh, may occupy less space when compared to long double or double okay char is converted to int or float if you have operands are of different uh, types remember if operands are of same type no matter no, no issue no issue implicit conversions may vary from compiler to compiler explicit type conversion you want to do it explicitly uh, as a programmer you want to control then in that case you can use this type of expression data type followed by expression that means you want to convert to from one form to other form that other form you have to write here suppose here 4.3 is the floating point now you want to convert it to integer so what is the data type is nothing but int so int of 4.3 is nothing but 4 this type of conversion is called as casting type casting so the data type associated with the expression itself is not changed by cast rather it is the value of the expression that undergoes type conversion whenever the cast appears that means if you have say a equal to 
a equal to 4.5, you are not writing int of 4.5. Suppose a equal to 4.5, if you write int of a, int of a, that means a is not converted to integer, but the value of a that is 4.5 is converted to 4, 4.5 is converted to 4, and then it is assigned to the left hand variable, left hand variable. So while converting program, programmer has to be careful because it is up to the programmer to write the code. So you may write the code correctly or wrongly. So there will be some issues the when while conversion, even if you can do it. So if forcefully try to convert say float to integer, then it will result in truncation of value. If you can try to convert double to float, it may result in decrease in the precision. So that is regarding the type conversion. So what we have studied. What is type conversion? What are the types? Implicit and explicit type conversion. Implicit, it is up to the compiler writer. The programmer will need not bother about it. Explicit, it is up to the programmer to do it correctly. Programmer to do it correctly. The syntax is data type followed by the value that is to be converted. The value that is to be converted. So this is regarding the type conversion. Thank you. Thank you very much.